Determine the area above the horizontal line y equals 2 and inside the circle x squared plus y squared equals 36, which is the yellow shaded region. To find this area, we'll be using polar coordinates. Recall when using polar coordinates, differential a is equal to r dr d theta. Our strategy is going to be to integrate from here to here, which will give us the area of the sector, and then we'll come back and subtract out the area of this right triangle in quadrant one, as well as this right triangle in quadrant two that has the same dimensions, which will leave us with a desired area. Let's begin to set this up. We have the area is equal to the double integral over the region r of r dr d theta. And now to determine the limits integration for r and theta. The limits integration for r are going to be from zero to six because the radius of the circle is six. And that's where we're going to determine the limits of integration for theta. The lower limit is going to be this angle here, where if we form a right triangle, this leg has a length of two units. The hypotenuse has a length of six units because of the radius of the circle. In relation to theta, the opposite side is two. The hypotenuse is six, which indicates sine theta equals two six or one third. And if sine theta equals one third, theta is equal to arc sine or inverse sine one third. Arc sine one third is the lower limit of integration for theta. And now for the upper limit, we could use this angle here, but instead, it'll be easier if we just integrate to pi divided by two, the positive y-axis, and then double the result. This is because of the symmetry about the y-axis. We'll let the upper limit be pi divided by two, and then double the result. Now again, we still have to subtract out the area of these two right triangles in quadrant one and quadrant two. Let's enlarge the right triangle in quadrant one to get a better view. It looks something like this, where the hypotenuse is six, because that's the radius of the circle. This leg is going to have the same length as this leg of two. And now we can determine the missing leg using the Pythagorean theorem. It has a length equal to the square root of the difference of the square of six and the square of two, which equals the square root of 32, which is four square root two. So if we let the area of the right triangle in quadrant one be a sub one, and the area of the right triangle in quadrant two be a sub two, the area of the right triangle in quadrant one is equal to one half times the base, which we'll call four square root two, times the height of two, the area is equal to four square root two square units. Well, the area of the right triangle in quadrant two is also four square root two, which means to find the yellow area, we need to subtract eight square root two from the double integral. And now let's integrate. Integrating with respect to r, we have r squared divided by two, or one half r squared. When r is six, we have one half times 36, which is 18. When r is zero, we have zero, giving us two times the integral from arc sine one third to pi divided by two of 18 d theta. And don't forget about the minus eight square root two. Integrating with respect to theta, we have 18 theta. And when theta is equal to pi divided by two, we have 18 times pi divided by two and then when theta is arc sine one third, we have minus 18 arc sine one third. Simplifying one last time, 18 times pi divided by two is nine pi, nine pi times two is 18 pi, and then we have minus 36 arc sine one third, minus eight square root two. This is the exact area of the yellow bounded region. This would be square units. And the decimal approximation is 33.0008 square units. I hope you found this helpful.